Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, we live in a fascinating age where the boundaries that once stifled the process of cloning have greatly thinned. Now it's as if we've stumbled upon a veritable Lazarus pit and are looking to repopulate the world with beasts long since vanished. While some claim the science behind de-extinction is tantamount to playing God, that hasn't stopped scientists from pursuing the resurrection of these 10 extinct animals. As we begin, do us a favor and hit the subscribe button and make it easy on yourself by clicking the bell to be automatically notified whenever we upload a new video. Number 10, Alrocks. Before there were domesticated cattle, there was the Alroc. Once a species of the plains of Europe, the Alroc vanished entirely by 1627, but recent efforts have pointed to bringing the six-foot behemoth cattle back to life. Utilizing a process of selective breeding, researchers hope to be able to use the domesticated cattle to eventually produce a viable alroc, but it's a lengthy process that involves first reconstructing the extinct animal's DNA through bone and teeth fragments, then matching that with current cattle species to find the best match. Number 9. Great Auk For years before its disappearance in the mid-19th century, the Great Auk suffered from game hunting along the coast of the North Atlantic. It's possible that we feel a pang of guilt about completely eradicating the species because now we're dead set on bringing this penguin-esque flightless bird back to life. Spearheading the resurrection of the Great Auk is Revive and Restore, an organization dedicated to the genetic rescue of endangered and extinct species. r, &R hopes to extract genetic material from the fossils of the Auk to fuel the genome sequencing needed to modify and fertilize the embryo of a razorbill. Number 8. Passenger Pigeon Another candidate eyed up by Revive and Restore, the Passenger Pigeon is a relatively newly extinct bird, with the last of its kind spotted in the early 20th century. Due to human intervention in its habitat and extensive hunting, the pigeon was driven to extinction. But it's also believed to be a proper candidate for a miraculous return. Ample DNA pulled from dry tissue and bone and the existence of a closely related relative, the band-tailed pigeon, all work in favor of bringing back this once wild pigeon. Number 7. Gastric Brooding Frogs Known for its considerably unusual method of birthing its young, the gastric brooding frog, or platypus frog, was last observed in the 1980s. Due to its recent extinction, scientists have their eye on bringing the frog back through a method of somatic cell nuclear transfer, a specific means of cloning where a body cell and egg cell are used to create an embryo. Female platypus frogs swallowed their eggs, converting their stomach into a womb, and upon birth, they regurgitated their young. Thanks to pathogenic fungi introduced by man, this unique frog was completely eradicated. Number 6. Tasmanian Tiger Former Australian, Tasmanian, and New Guinea native, the Tasmanian tiger was also known more formally as the thylacine. When the last of this species died out in captivity in 1936, it was a loss felt heavy in the regions it once scoured. In 1999, the Australian Museum launched a project to clone the thylacine using genetic material taken from specimen preserved in the 20th century. Though initial attempts resulted in failure, Later research led to the alleged completed sequencing of the thylacine mitochondrial genome, giving promise to the possible future revival of this incredible species. Number 5. Mastodon A relative of the modern elephant, the mastodon once called Central and North America its home during the Pliocene and Miocene periods. Once believed to have fallen victim to the tenacious nature of man, more recent research points to a more rapid mass extinction, possibly connected to tuberculosis. Focus on reviving the mastodon has largely been overshadowed by another popular prehistoric mammal, but there are eyes focused on bringing the nine-foot-long proboscidea back from its status of extinct. Number 4. Smilodon You know what our world's missing? Giant cats that grow up to around four feet tall with massive canines that could reach almost a foot in length. These saber-toothed cats may be a fascinating prehistoric creature, but even specialists around Yellowstone National Park can see the disastrous scenarios that could arise from bringing these ferocious felines back. Regardless of potential pitfalls, researchers have the Smilodon on their short list of candidates for de-extinction. Number 3. 
Dodo. Now we've covered the dodo in prior archives covering extinct animals, but we couldn't help but chuckle at the efforts put into bringing this flightless bird back from the dead. On its home island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, the dodo had no natural predators. That is, of course, until man came along. The perception that they were dumb comes from the fact that they wouldn't run from humans that were hunting them, and essentially let us kill them to extinction. Now we're all about trying to bring them back. Guilty much? Number two, MOA. They're certainly trying, but researchers have been hitting a roadblock in their attempt to resurrect this giant flightless bird. Prior to being hunted into extinction, the MOA was an oversized bird, similar to the common emu, that was endemic to New Zealand. At an average height of 12 feet, the MOA towered as a dominant herbivore in the Kiwi forest with only two known predators, man and the host's eagle. Considering its relatively recent extinction, researchers are hopeful they can clone a MOA from any of the number of the remains still available. Number one, woolly mammoth. Maybe the most obvious inclusion in this video. Researchers have been very vocal about bringing back the prehistoric woolly mammoth. In fact, a movement has been pretty consistent on seeing this Pleistocene brought back to life. The latest development comes from a team of scientists from Harvard who believe they'll be able to create an elephant-mammoth hybrid embryo within the next few years. Other teams have been on the hunt for living tissue or viable sperm cells within frozen specimen, hoping to either extract DNA for cloning or impregnate an elephant. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you found the info in this video interesting. If so, give it a like and leave a comment about which one, or perhaps another critter, you'd like to see resurrected from extinction. And please, subscribe to the channel. If you think of yourself as a trivia guru on all things ancient and modern, head on over to our second channel. Either search Test and Quiz Channel on YouTube or head over to our featured tab. Oh, and look, here's two more videos among the hundreds available on Top 10 Archive that you can watch right now.